Today, I'm going to be telling you guys how you can get more tickets in Hello Kitty Cafe. So if you are trying to get the new Cinema Roll card, hopefully this video will help you guys get those tickets and get Cinema Roll. And if you're missing any other characters, it is also very useful to have a lot of tickets so you can open up a bunch and get that character, especially the rarer ones. So of course, the first thing you can do to get these tickets is opening up chests. You can find chests in the city or in your cafe, and they're just pink chests scattered around the map, and you are able to open them up, and sometimes if you're lucky, you can get tickets. I've only been lucky and gotten one out of my daily amount of chests, so I'm not sure if you are able to get more than one. I've either gotten one ticket or none at all, so that is just one way to get tickets. It's not super helpful, but what is super helpful out of a chest is getting those diamonds. And if you do have VIP, it seems like you do get a little more diamonds. And once you get a bunch of diamonds, you are able to go over to the store, little shopping cart down here, and go down to this red bag, and you can exchange your diamonds for tickets. That is another really useful thing for chest is getting those diamonds and then going and exchanging your diamonds for tickets. And as you can see right now, because a cinema roll is a new character, they decided to give us 20% off of all these tickets. So if you're going to buy and save up your diamonds for tickets, I would do it now. So I would save your diamonds and get these tickets because it is super cheap and much cheaper than trying to get it at its original price. And I'm not sure how long this will last. I'm not sure if they told us. I just know that the Cinema Roll event, at least his birthday event, will end on the 8th. So if you're going to exchange your diamonds, make sure to do it now and save up those diamonds from your chests. Make sure to get your chest every single day and get your daily amount of chests because you can save up all those diamonds and get as much tickets as possible. And then you can go ahead and exchange those for diamonds so you can do it right now when it's on sale. If you do not have VIP, you get 100 daily chests. I think I thought it was more. I think I looked it up a while ago and it was more, so I don't know if they've changed that or if the information that I read was not accurate. But from what I have found, you can only open up 100 daily chests. And if you have VIP, I think you can open up 10 more. Again, it's really hard to find what I was looking for before, so I'm not sure if that's completely accurate, but I do know that you are able to get 100 chest every single day. The next thing you can do for tickets is doing your daily tasks. Every single day you get some tasks. They're over here if you pull this out and press on this blue checklist and this is your main task at the top and that is forever. You have to complete those to get rid of those tasks and get those rewards. But the daily tasks have a time limit so in four hours this is going to refresh so I have four hours to do all these tasks. As you can see, you can get one from doing the complete daily task five times. And I'm sure that is a task that you can get every single day from what I can tell. Um, down here, this is another task that you can get a gotcha ticket from. And you play a round of Kurumi Spooky Cafe and that is the mini game and you can find that outside of your cafe. I think those tasks are always there so you can get two tickets every single day from doing those tasks. And what is also super useful is doing these diamond tasks as well because the more diamonds you get, the more tickets you can get if you save those up. It's not a ton, it's 125 a day, but it's still better than nothing. And if you do it for a week, you can build up your diamonds pretty quickly. So make sure that you're doing those every single day and make sure that you are doing them before the time refreshes. I think it takes me like 40 minutes a day to do all these tasks. So I would definitely put that time into doing that if you need tickets right away. The next thing you can do is get your group rewards in the city store. So let's go do that right now. I'll show you where it is. If you go down and outside of your cafe over here, and if you go over here to your left, 
or your right depending on how you're looking at it this is the portal you can take to the city so you're looking for this sign and a train station and it is just right there and you go into that circle and it'll take you to the city and once you're at the city you can either teleport to the first floor by just walking into that circle or you can go up the escalator up here and you'll spawn up here or go up here if you go up that and then right outside you have three cubicle booths outside and if you go up to the pink one it is how you get your daily rewards so you can claim this every single day and sometimes you do get smoothies once in a while you actually do get some diamonds to do it you do have to join panda rock games and it's super easy when you click on my hello kitty cafe i'll take you to here and then you want to go up here to buy panda rock games click on that and it'll take you to the group and there should be a join button over here but i'm already joined so let me just leave it and rejoin right here and you can join that group so that is another way to get more diamonds it's not super effective because sometimes they do not have diamonds but once in a while you are able to get those diamonds and it's really helpful to get those extra smoothies the next thing you can do is do your playtime reward the higher you go the higher the percentages go and you do have a chance to get diamonds so oh and you also do have a chance to get a ticket so make sure that you're spending this every single day i think it might take you like an hour maybe an hour and a half i really haven't figured out the time um on these guys but if you do put a little bit of time into hello kitty cafe every single day even if you're just standing around in afk farming that will help and you just spin the wheel and it goes around and lands on something that was so close to the ticket sometimes you get the ticket the higher you go the more likely you are able to get those um and if you have premium which is the subscription you have on roblox that's how you know you have premium if you don't have it go to your home page it's over here down below premium this is how you can get premium it does cost money i know not everyone has access to that but that does help you get the times two premium member rewards so you get two of whatever you land on so if i were to land on a ticket i'd get two instead of just one so that's also very useful but i know not everyone is able to get premium on roblox because it does cost real life money the next thing if you have vip again if you are able to get it over here in the city store you have this wheel spin i can't get it right now because i already spun it for today but in four hours i can re-spin it you can only get this if you're vip which is a little unfortunate because it is another super helpful way to get diamonds but it is another thing if you do get vip you do get extra diamonds that way so if you do have the robux it is really useful again if you are able to get it and then if you're super desperate and absolutely need tickets right away the best bet is to buy them with robux so to do that you go and buy some diamonds here with your robux if you are able to and then go down here and trade those diamonds for tickets that's the fastest easiest way but again i know not everyone has access to robux and can get diamonds and tickets using robux but if you are really desperate and are lucky enough to get that that is another way you can get tickets and again it's 20 percent off so if you are going to spend a bunch of robux on tickets the best time to do it is right now you can also get the gotcha ticket pass which is much cheaper if you click on it it will tell you exactly how much cheaper it is it says on sale a pack of 100 gotcha ticks worth 2000 robux is now available for 799 robux 60 percent off so if you haven't bought in that it is a one-time purchase but it is much cheaper than getting it with diamonds and i think even right now it's still a little cheaper that would give you 12 and that is yeah right now it's still cheaper to buy that pass before you buy the actual tickets with um diamonds 
So that is another way you are able to get it. And the best time to do it is now. That is all the ways that I have for you to getting those tickets. If you have any more tips that I didn't think of, let me know down in the comments below. And I hope this can help you get any tickets and any characters that you are missing. And I hope you guys are able to also get the new character, Cinema Roll. He is absolutely adorable. I did do a 100 ticket shopping spree where I just opened up a bunch of tickets to get him. If you want to watch that, that will be linked down below. And I also have done a bunch of those videos, so the playlist of all the videos will be linked down below if you haven't watched all of them. I also have a video about how to get more diamonds down below too, so if you need that for the tickets, that is another video you can watch to get those. And if you need help with coins or leveling up, that is also all down below too. So if you need any help with anything, I probably have a video about it. I'll try to link most of them down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye!